so in this video i'm going to talk about meta description in this video we will learn what is meta description how it's look like and what is its impact on your search engine ranking hello friends i'm shivani goel welcome in ws cube tech so let's start with a brief definition of meta description let us understand what is meta description so meta description is an html element that provides a brief summary of a web page any information which you have on your web page that particular information you can keep a descriptive overview on your search engine result page that is your meta description here a page meta description tag is displayed as a part of your search snippet in a search engine result page and is mean to give the user an idea of the content that exists within the page and how it relate to your search query for example if someone searches on google let's suppose if you search on google any particular query for corresponding to your query you can get some result and in these result you can get meta description over here let me explain you how your meta description look like for example if on google when you simply type online marketing let's suppose this is your keyword here when you mention this particular keyword then you can get corresponding result which is relevant to your query in these result here you can see let's suppose this is the result you have so this is your title that is what is online marketing hyphen definition from tactopedia and online marketing is a set of tools and methodology this is your meta description here which explain that what is the information inside this particular web so this particular set of description is known as meta description here this is the first point of contact this is the first description which your user learn on the search engine result page about your web page next we have search engine result page example here as you can see one example there this is the another example where this is your url of the website this is your landing page url after that this is known as your title and this is known as your meta description so this meta description is appear on your search engine result page now what is the html code for this particular meta description here we have in the head section you have meta description which is written in the form of like meta name that is description content whatever with the description you want to write you have to write in the semicolons like this is an example of the meta description this will often show up in the search result and closer of your head tag so you can find your page meta description within the head section most cms will allow you to add this particular markup and change your meta description either directly within the code or where the meta description field within the page meta description section okay here you can see that we have this particular title here this is the title you have and this is the meta description you have for this particular website okay so this is the example of meta description here now optimal meta description length now let's talk something about your meta description length so meta description can technically be any length but google generally truncates snippets to 155 to 160 characters only so it's best to keep your meta descriptions long enough that they are sufficiently descriptive so we recommended that your meta description length should be between 15 and 160 character because after your uh, 160 character your meta description will look like in this form so that is a wrong impact so you have to keep summarize your complete web page in your uh, data description form and in your 50 to 160 character length so keep in mind that the optimal length will vary depending on the situation and your primary goal should be to provide value at the drive level okay so it's also depend on the site to site whatever be the meta description you are using here now why are meta description important for seo the meta description can impact a page click through rate in your google search engine result page how we can see that see on your google search engine result page you can see your particular website title and meta meta description is the first descriptive content about your web page when user read about this particular information in that case 
they can get an idea about whatever be the information they can find on your web page these are the webmasters opportunity to advertise content to the searchers because searchers can look at this particular content and then they can make in mind that after clicking this particular website they can find the content which is relevant to this particular description so the searchers chances to decide whether the content is likely to be relevant to their search query and contain the information they are seeking so meta description have an indirect impact on search ranking it's not direct impact but indirectly it is helpful how it is helpful because they are significantly impact users behavior so that's why we can consider meta description is also one of the important factor of your on page as so you must have to optimize your meta description along with your title optimization now the meta description in the social share this is the example here in this particular example here you can see that for this particular website when we mention this particular site link on your facebook this is a company move and this is the example from this particular company facebook uh, page here in your facebook when we mention this particular link here, okay so along with your site title we can also get description here this is the title here that is accelerate your seo knowledge and this is the description we have so along with your title we also got your meta description here which describe something about your website so social sharing like your facebook commonly use a page meta description tag as the description that appear when the page is shared on the site so without the meta description tag social sharing site may just use the first tag they can find that is the first tag they can find so they can only use that particular point of content if you are not using your meta description how do i write a good meta description now these are some steps here which we have to follow if we want to optimize our meta description first of all you have to include compelling and the copy of your description this is just an example here this is a copy here how you can write this now you have to avoid duplicating meta description here in this particular example as you can see that we have different pages here but for all different pages we have same meta description here so this practice we have to avoid we have to use separate meta description for different pages for individual page you must have unique title and unique meta description here because unique description and unique title can make your web page unique and help you to optimize your web page and meta description so as with your title tag each page meta description should be directly relevant to the page it describes and unique from the descriptions for other pages next you have to avoid quotation uh, mark in your description so this is a double quotation mark you have when you are used within the meta description html in that case google recognize them as a signal to truncate the description from that particular point and it will automatically cut off the rest of the content for example if you simply mention about like digital marketing dot 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 is good in that case google will consider that this is your second sentence and this is your first sentence in that case they automatically cut this sentence and they can only show you this particular content on your search engine result page snippet so to prevent this for happening your best path is to remove all the non alphanumeric characters from your meta description you have to avoid auto generated description if you not mentions your meta description in your web page in that case google will automatically generate description and they how they can generate description they can consider the relevant keyword and along with your relevant keyword whatever be the information you are using they take that information from your web page and display that information on google search engine result page this is your auto generated description but this is the bad practices because this is not the complete complete description about your web page in that case you have to generate your own meta description to avoid auto generated description don't write description that have no relation to the content of the page in that case what the practice you have to avoid like 
let us suppose you write one meta description by using your particular keyword but if that particular keyword or the content you are mentioning is not available in your web page so that is the wrong practice here you only have to write that description which is mentioned in your web page or whatever be the information is available on your web page meta description should be informative and interesting in that case you have to take care of both meta description must give information about your web page and it must be interesting that user visit on your website after reading your particular meta description a good description summarize your page content whatever be the information you have in your web page that particular information is summarized by your meta description include keyword in description just like you can mention your keyword in your title in the same way you have to mention your particular keyword in your meta description next give users reason to visit your website you have to add your product features and benefit let's suppose if you have any e-commerce website and here you want to write meta description for your web page any particular web page to contain your product or services in that case what the practice you have to follow you must maintain you must write your product features like what are the special features in this particular product you can mention this just to attract your visitors you want your description to stand out not be the same as your copy here you have to write your meta description in the way that user will visit on your website you have to take ideas about your competitor website how they write their meta description you need not to copy that but you have to improve your meta description in that users are always looking for up to date info you can also mention for example if you mention any new trend in your web page in that case you can also mention in your meta description that we are going to discuss about some new trends because some updated information you are going to explain in your web page so that also attract your users by this way you can also create users for your web page now as we understand what is meta description and what are the strategies to optimize your meta description now we have some types here we have different type of meta description first we have clarity focused meta description what is this in that case your meta description must be clear must be clear to your audience for example this is the example you can see here that is the nerd fitness is a fitness website for the nerds and the average joes helping you losing weight get stronger and eat better so the information is clear here so that is known as clarity focused meta description next we have usp focus that is your unique selling price focus and what is the unique selling price you have that is get free shipping and returns this is a unique selling price 24 by 7 customer services 365 days return policy that is your usp here okay so in case of usp focused meta description we have to focus on our usp next we have question focus just to attract our visitors we can also take this particular strategy that is your question focused meta description. in that case we can simply ask question to our user like interested in learning more about seo in 2019 so here are the key trends you need to follow to improve your search optimization skills so by using this particular type of question you can also create your meta description next we have purpose focused in case of purpose focused here we have to mention purpose like with every product you Cheese tombs will help a person in need one for one, and these are the site links available in this particular meta description. By this way, you can also create meta description here. Next, we have call to action. For example, if any action you want that people should do on your particular web page, so you can also mention that particular call to action in your meta description. Just like download the full version of Adobe Photoshop for free. if user want to download this particular adobe photoshop software in that case you can mention in the description here and after reading this particular description they simply visit on your website and do that desired action 
Next we have offer focused method of description. In that case, as its name shows offer focused, whatever be the offer you are offering to your users, you can mention it in your meta description so that people will attract that and visit to your website to avail that particular offer. So these are some strategies or you can see these are some types of meta description which you can use when you are creating your meta description here. Next we have word power focused. Word like free advice, career advice, expert advice, these are the powerful words which you can use in your meta description to attract your users. Just like as you can see in this particular example, we have free expert career advice. These are the powerful words which we have focused. Next we have special characters. Just to make your meta description interesting, you can also add some special characters like these checkbooks are the special icons here which we use in our particular meta description. Next we have solution focused. In case of solution focused here, we have to write one question here. Whatever be the question you think that your users want to know, after that you have to mention that particular solution. After reading that particular solution, it makes users aware that in that particular web page they can get their solution and that's why they click on your website and they visit on your website for finding that particular answer. Okay? So these are some type available here. So these are the type of meta description here. Now the question is how can we do meta description on our website? How can we do title optimization and meta description on our website? For this, let me show you a live demo here. How can you write meta description for your website? For this, I'm just taking example of one of the website here. This is one website here. On your website, first of all, you have to install one plugin here for doing SEO. And that plugin is known as All in One SEO. To download your plugin, you have to simply click on plugin. You have to simply click on add new. After click on add new, you have to simply mention the name of the plugin you want to install. Let's suppose here I want All in One SEO. You have to simply mention that. After that, you can get this particular tool. Here you have to click on this particular install now button. And after click on install now, now you have one option that is activate. You have to click on activate and now this particular plugin is added in your dashboard window. If you are not finding this in your dashboard window, you have to simply check it in your install plugin option. Where you find all in one plugin option there. Here you can see your all in one plugin. And in that case you have some SEO setting option here, you can also do it from here. Okay, so let me click on all in one SEO. After click on that, now you have to simply click on launch the setup wizard. Click on get started here as I already download one SEO plugin that is used SEO here. So let me connect that. Here you have to do some setting here. These are your home page settings. In that case, you have to choose which category best describe your website. Let's suppose your website is your small offline business or you can say your blog, whatever be your website category you can choose. Let's suppose I simply choose one blog here. Okay. After choosing that, now you have to choose your home page title. For this by default, you have your website title that is your digital marketing academy, then your separator and then your tagline that is learn marketing business. In that case, if you want to choose your home page Title, you have to remove that or you have to write your own title. Let's suppose here I mentioned that is Digital Marketing Academy hyphen learn digital marketing with us. Okay, here let's suppose our keyword is digital marketing here. So I'm using this particular here keyword here. So by this way you can write your title here. By this way you can optimize your title tag. After that, you have to write your meta description. For writing your meta description, you have to give a brief description about your website. In that case, you can mention learn digital marketing. With, let's suppose you can write this particular meta description here. Okay. After writing your meta description, you have to simply click on save and continue. Okay. By this way, you can add 
your title and meta description here and after that you have to do your further settings okay this is the one way here we also have another way how you can do meta description here let's suppose here you can do here you can write meta description of your home page okay now the question is how you can write meta description for any individual post or any individual page here, okay let's suppose as we have so many pages here so how can you write meta description for your web pages here let's suppose this is your front page and now you want to write your meta description for this particular page so what you have to do you have to simply click on add it after to editing this is the page we have in this particular page this is the page we have after this particular page you have all in one seo setting here in this setting option in your journal this is the snippet preview here how this particular page is look like on google okay now if you want to edit your page title you can add it from here if you want to edit your meta description you can add it okay any key phrase which you are focusing on you have to add it that that is digital okay here you add this particular keyword here after adding this now these are the suggestions you have that these focus keyword you have to add in your subheading or you also have to add in your image or title Okay, by this way you can add your title and meta description for any particular page. So here I just give you example of how to add this particular meta description and title in your website. So in our upcoming video we will learn more about SEO. So thank you so much for watching this video.